Roman, what do you need, bud? Um, I've got on like that, but not the twins. You know what? He loves them too, but they don't love him back. Anyway, I knew it. They don't love him back. God loves everybody. The question is, do you love him? We do. Yeah. That's the question. Wait, wait. That's yes. the question. All right, we need we need to move on. We need to we need to move on. No more no more comments. No more comments. No more questions. We need to move on. First of all, somebody tell me. Shout it out. What day is today? Sunday. Sunday. What day? March sixth. March sixth. What year? Two thousand twenty-two. All right. So you can read. Good. Who has Bibles today? Me. Okay, if you have your Bible, do you know where to find the book of John? Yeah. Good. I'm glad you found it in advance. Book of John, chapter 9. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to help you guys find the book of John. All right. We've got a couple princess Bibles and these are probably story Bibles, so we may not be able to find them. Let me take them over here. Okay, you. Good. All right, here's what I want you to do. Matthew, I want you to split your Bible right down the middle, just like you're doing. Now, pull the back part. No, not the front, back. And split that right down the middle. So just like you did the first part, just split that right down the middle. All right, okay, good, you got real Bibles. You need to turn yours upside, yours upside down. Don't no, split it in the middle. So take and now take this and split it down the middle. Guess what book you found? You found a book that's got your name on it. All right, now, now you'll need to look a little more to the back of the book because it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So keep going until you find John. John. There's Mark. All right, let's do this. Okay, you're real close. Look, so, John is the next book. There's John. Now, find a big number nine. Keep going back until you find a big number nine. All right, let's split this a little more. There we go. Now, find a big number nine. Does nine come before or after 11? Number nine. Alright, let's find it. Okay, you got it. Awesome. Yes? Did you, did you have a birthday? When? Birthdays? I mean, right, I mean, I like the fourth. March 4th, okay. And then I celebrated it in March 4th. Okay. That's it, right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're on chapter 5, chapter 6. Keep going back until you find chapter 9. Yep, go to the back. Go to the back. Go too far, too far, because you're 14. Take one page at a time. Seven. Keep going. Eight. One more page. And there's a big old chapter nine. That's where we are. Deadly my. All right. John Chapter. 
Oh, we got more Bibles? I didn't realize you had a Bible, sweetie. You found it. Good. Okay, because I actually use nine. Let's go this one. For one page, though. Because we want to start at the front of the Bible. The front of the chapter. And where's nine? There we go. And from there. All right. All right, listen up, guys. Listen up. Follow along with me. Follow along with me. So I'm going to start reading here. As soon as I find mine. I don't know where my paper Bible went. But I've got another Bible right here on my phone. All right, listen up. Listen up. Why are you sitting on your Bible? You're not supposed to sit on your Bible. We're supposed to stand on the Word of God, not sit on the Word of God. You guys. All right, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Follow along with me as I read here. Now, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no man could work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, listen to this. When he said these things, he spit on the ground, and he made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated sent. So he went and he washed, and he came back seeing. Therefore the neighbors and those who had previously seen that he was blind said, Is this not he who sat and begged? And some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. He said, I am he. Therefore they said to him, How are your eyes open? He answered and said, A man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And so I went and I washed and I received sight. That's a healing, guys. That's what a healing is. How long, how long was this man blind? Ever since he was born. Ever since he was born. He was born blind. And they thought, well, maybe he did something wrong. And Jesus said, no, nobody did anything wrong, but this was for the power of God. No more. I want to see no more of that. I'll split you guys up. Because i got six kids and five chairs, and we're going to have to change that. All right. Roman, sit up, please. All right, so I'm going to describe to you what Jesus did, though. Here's how he healed the man. It was an area with a lot of dirt where he was, and so he leaned over, and he spit on the ground. He made clay out of it. Yeah, he, and then he put his hands in the spit, and he made clay out of the dirt. He made mud. All right, everybody say, ew. Ew. Then he took the mud that he made and he took some of it in his hands. You're going to be my blind man. You go like this. Okay, you're going to be blind. You're not even a man. But you're, we're going we're gonna to let you be the blind man. Come on out here. Come on out here so everybody can see. We're going to let you be the blind man. So he had mud made with his spit. And he, he got to close your eyes, you're blind. And he put the spit mud on the guy's eyes. Say double ew. Yeah. Double ew. Daddy, you asked that. That's not the scarf of any one of you. Why would you do this like that? Then, 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 he told the guy, now go wash your eyes off. Go go to the pool and wash your eyes off. Now let me 
he, he went and he washed his eyes off, and all of a sudden he could see. Before he was blind, he couldn't see anything. <laughs> God 
loves us even today. And the power of God to heal. Now, let me ask you this. Kaya, do you think you could have done that? Spit on the ground, make mud with your spit, put it on somebody's eyes, tell them to go wash in the pool, and they come back seeing for the first time in their lives? You think so? No? Matthias, you think so? Eric, you think so? No. Will, you think so? I don't know. Kaylee, you think so? Yes, no, maybe so? <laughs> Dominic, you think so? What? You think you can do that? Yes. You think so? Taylor? You think no? You think so? Here's the thing. Some of you guys said yes, you could. And some of you guys said no, you cannot. Yeah, you can. And you're both right. Because no, you can't do it without God. And you're both right. Yes, you can. And favor has it. Yes, you can. If I were to just sit here, sit here, stand here, and I were to spit on the ground, pretend there's dirt here, and I make mud, and I go put it on Kaya's eyes, no. and Kaya gets all grossed out, and I tell Kaya to wash the pool, and I don't have to tell her, she goes running off because, ew! And what would happen if she washed in the pool? Nothing. She just had a guy put spit mud on her eyes. But, with God's help, with, no more. Keep your hands to yourself, keep your Bible to yourself. With God's help, we could. If I come and, Matthew, if I came and prayed for you, you're sick, and I come and pray for you, you can get better. Why? Because of my power? I don't have any power. God does. God has the power. And God doesn't change. So yes and no, because yes, with God's help, and no, by ourselves. Okay, if we try to do things by ourselves, we're not going to be able to succeed. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Say that with me. With God, all things are possible. Some things are possible? All things. A, a, a few things are possible. All things. Nothing's possible. All things are possible. That's what I want you to that's what I want you to take from today's lesson. With God, all things are possible. So if God says, I want you to go pray for somebody, go pray for them. Because the healing is not yours. The healing is God's. And God still heals today. God loves us that much that he can heal us of all of it. Oh, wait a minute. I can't walk. I got a broken leg. God can heal that. I can't see. God can heal that. I got a disease. God can heal that. Even if it doesn't happen on the first day, you just need patience. Even if it doesn't happen what on the first day. What happens if you broke your leg and your arm? God can heal that. God can heal that. <laughs> Wait, it can, God can heal you even when you're okay. God, She's seen it with her own eyes. God can heal. All right. Let's bow your heads. Bow your heads, close your eyes. Father, we thank you. Because you are still a healing God. We thank you because you love us so much. You don't want us to be sick. You don't want us to be hurt. You don't want us to have diseases. But you heal every one of us. Lord, help us to trust in you for our healing. Because we know that you still heal today. And help us to obey you when you direct us to go pray for somebody. Because it's not our power. It's your power that heals. And just help us to be obedient. And we thank you because you are still a God who does miracles. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.